The NFL has a little bit different take than, than the NBA on, on sort of legalized gambling. Yeah. I, I, I definitely think that there is a clear separation between fantasy and, and gambling. Yeah. But when you look at what happens in the UK, you know, there's gambling on anything and everything in the UK. Right. And there's enough evidence to suggest that, you know, gambling actually helps take away some of the issues because you can see real time if there's a big swing on a game here or there, it generally means that something's going on. Yeah. And you can track that now. It's not like it's in the gray market or the black market. If it's out there in the open, you can see it. So I certainly understand Adam Silver's position. Yeah. But I also understand Roger Goodell's position of, okay, let's just be careful before we dive into that. And I think that's the approach that the NFL will continue to, to take is we'll, we'll monitor it. And if there's something that makes us yeah. change our mind, we will. But I, I think at some point, you're going to see gaming more, more active in professional sports in the United States. And society has not come to an end in the UK over this gambling thing. It's not like society has crumbled and people are not going to work on Monday. That's right. And, you know, I mean, again, you have a lot of people to bet in the gray markets and, and potentially black markets in the United States. Yeah. You know, so I, I think there's, there's, there's no perfect answer. I'm not advocating people go gamble their life savings away on a game. Yeah. But people do that. Yeah. And I think the more that you do things out in the open, you know, the, the chances are it's transparency, you know, is a good thing. Yeah. Hey, everybody, let me take a moment to tell you about a product I love and use every day. It's video hosting from Wistia, W-I-S-T-I-A, Wistia. It is awesome. And who uses it? MailChimp, Moz, HubSpot, Zendesk, Herman Miller, Sam Adams, and of course, this week in startups, they've got 140,000 customers, um, and they are growing like a weed. Now, why do we use it? Well, if we use a free service like YouTube, we have all YouTube's ads and collaterals and garbage, and it looks terrible, and it's not customizable. So it looks bad, and everything that YouTube does is in service of increasing their metrics, not your metrics. Well, what are your metrics as a business? Well, for me, it's collecting emails. Two, it's having people on my domain, my site, making it look beautiful, not having that ugly thing that comes up at the end of like a YouTube video that shows all the different videos of other people that I don't want to send my users to. I want when the video ends for them to watch another episode of This Week in Startups. I can control all of that with Wistia. That's why I use it. And it works perfectly on Facebook and Twitter with the cards and, you know, you can play it natively on those platforms. It's gorgeous. And it'll give you a ton of support. You want to take control of your video. Video is a huge asset, and you want to do it professionally. The analytics program is amazing. You can see on a user-by-user -user basis how long they're watching and if they rewound and watch a, a section twice, all this kind of great stuff. Um, tons of support, super easy to use. And it's built, uh, a lot of their new tools are built for marketers, so collecting emails and that kind of stuff. And you don't have YouTube or Vimeo doing that kind of stuff. Those platforms have their own goals, which is selling ads and keeping people on their platforms and stealing those users from your platform. Start your two-week trial for free on Wistia, wistia.com slash twist. No credit card is required because they're so confident that you're going to love the service like I do. And you can upload as many videos as you like, wistia.com slash twist, W-I-S-T-I-A, Wistia. Dot com slash twist. I love the product. I love the team. And it's been fantastic for us. We got control of our own videos again. And we are now collecting emails every day, dozens of emails every week, hundreds of emails every year, thousands of emails to build our direct relationship. That is not have an intermediary between it, telling us how we can talk to you, our fans. We have a direct relationship. It's brilliant.